Hi there, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below and on the screen. We'll get right to it. We'll find out how you're doing, what's on your mind, the person that you're dealing with, what's on their mind, what is negatively impacting the situation or connection, and what is that advice from spirit? Okay, um, it's not it's not uncommon to see two of the same tarot cards come out. I like to blend my decks. If you watch my previous videos, you'll be able to see that. And uh, I apologize for any background noise. Um, and I'll try not to shuffle and speak at the same time because that can get pretty loud too. Okay, so let's get right to it. So you've got the lovers in the reverse, the strength card, and the tower. Okay, so some of you are wishing to be with someone here, I feel like you're having to have the strength and the courage because you could be caught up in a karmic relationship. The lovers in the reverse is something that you thought was a spiritual union, but it's not. Um, with the tower here, this is coming to you as a surprise, maybe. Maybe you're realizing that somebody is not your uh, person, okay? Um, some of you as well, you could be... Uh, I didn't say Gemini energy, Leo energy, and Scorpio. Some of you, yeah, some of you feel, I feel like you are feeling stuck. There's a sense of being stuck here. Let's see. So the person on your mind. Three of cups in the reverse. Six of pentacles and justice. This person could be going through a um, court situation. It could be Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like there's some, uh, they could be going through, yeah, some kind of court situation or they just have someone else. Three of Cups is a third party situation for me. It doesn't have to be, but this is how I'm seeing it. Um, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is about someone who doesn't feel like they deserve you. Um, somebody who doesn't feel like, if, this is somebody who felt like you were the giver in the relationship. Um, and this person breadcrumbed you and they don't feel like they treated you right. Um, they also don't feel like you were very fair with them. With the justice card there. Um, yeah, I don't know if this person breadcrumbed you or you breadcrumbed them. It, it feels like... It feels like you might be both mirroring each other here. Or it just feels like that's what they that they, they feel like, yeah, it's, it's, I feel like it's kind of like the same, same energy here because the six of pentacles in the reverse is being breadcrumbed and this is how they feel. But with the justice card, it means they feel like they're right. Okay. Or well, they're right to feel that way. Okay. So what is negatively impacting the situation or connection? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Again, you've got the Lovers in the reverse and uh, the Emperor in the reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. There's somebody here who's very stubborn. Um, this is like a father figure. This is uh, Aries energy. It's just somebody who's who can be a little inflexible sometimes. Um, yeah, somebody who abused their power. So if this was a third party, this could be somebody who wanted their cake and eating it. Eating it. Um, yeah, they wanted the best of both worlds kind of deal. This is, um, and also uh, with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, somebody got caught. I, I don't know, maybe their their plan backfired on them or just somebody got caught here. Um, some of you could have different spiritual beliefs to this person. The lovers in the, in this, in the reverse, it's because um, the lovers in the upright would be like, like-minded. It's also... Um, people that are in a spiritual union or your twin flame or soulmate is a very um, divine union. But in the, in the reverse, it would be that maybe you have different spiritual beliefs. Uh, it's like, it's just the opposite of, you know, that the karmic relationship is what that is. Um, yeah. So what is the advice from spirit? What is that nice from spirit? 
this is pretty straightforward. Ooh, so many cards. All right. So you've got the King of Wands and again, the, uh, the Strength card and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like the advice here is um, some of you are maybe don't have a lot of confidence. Um, maybe you let people um, dim your light. I feel like you're starting to have the courage to to be more confident, and that is the advice to to continue with that or to um, yeah. I feel like some of you also kind of like dumb yourself down, if that makes any sense, or maybe you pretend to be something that you're not, not in a malicious way, but just to be, to be able to fit in more, something like that anyway. Because courage, um, strength here is about having courage, or um, it's, it's sort of like a lack of confidence here. It's, it's needing courage to show up in, in a certain way. That's how I'm seeing this. For others of you with the Seven of Cups, um, the Seven of Cups is also um, an ADHD card. Um, I got that from uh, Seven Tarot. Um, can you go and check that out. He, uh, and I, I, I really related to that. Um, it could be that you are, some of you are not really expressing to people how you truly feel, or maybe you're not really, um, you're kind of like in, in your head, or maybe you could be sending out like different messages to people. Like maybe uh, it's, called, it's a, bleh, kind of like mixed signal, okay? There's a card here somewhere that has that, um, that, uh, somebody who sends out mixed signals and uh, it keeps people unsure whether they're interested in a relationship or they're not, that sort of thing. So there's something about that. And for others of you, the King of Wands is, um, he can be, the king in the reverse, he could be very egoistic. This is somebody who, um, you, you could have um, unrealist, unrealistic expectations for your partner. Um, yeah, I feel like that you have unrealistic expectations. You, pref you, it's, it's possible that you might have a very dominant personality or, um, just maybe type a, and you can come across as, um, maybe a difficult person. It doesn't have to be like that. Maybe she's just very strong minded. Um, you could be very domineering and I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I feel like it's maybe very masculine. Um, yeah. And then it, it, that could come across as maybe somebody who's very demanding or somebody who's very domineering or something like that. So I feel like that is the advice is to maybe tone it down, you know, something like that. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just reading cards. Um, I, yeah, because I feel like you don't really send out the right message. Um, when it comes to your potential suitors or someone or anybody really. Yeah. So that's all I have for you. So if that resonated, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I uh, hope to see you again next time.